Hello, welcome back to another video of OBG's Biology. In this video, I am going to discuss about the structure of DNA. DNA, the word stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And we all know that DNA is the key component which carries the information which is important to build or maintain a living organism. So, let's see the components of DNA. A DNA molecule consists of three components and they are nitrogenous bases, pentosugar and phosphate group or ion of phosphoric acid. Now let's see what are the nitrogenous bases in a DNA molecule. The nitrogenous bases having purine rings are adenine and guanine. And the nitrogenous bases having a pyrimidine ring are cytosine and thymine. And the another component is the pentosugar. The pentosugar of DNA is deoxyribose. Now let's see the structure of a nucleotide of deoxyribonucleic acid. Nucleotide of DNA looks like this. In the previous video, I have discussed how a nucleotide is formed. So, if you need any help, then you can see that video. Now, these nucleotides are joined together to form a polynucleotide chain, which is a single strand of a DNA. So, let's see how the nucleotides join together. The hydrogen atom of this nucleotide joins with the oxygen atom of this nucleotide and it eliminates a water molecule. This is how two nucleotides join together and the linkage between the two nucleotides are called the phosphodiester bond. And this is how a long polynucleotide chain of DNA is formed. One end of this chain consists of a phosphate group and this end is called the 5' end and the end where a free hydroxyl group is present this end is called the 3' end. Now let's know how the DNA double helix structure was discovered. The image in front of you is the result of X-ray crystallography which was done by Rosalind Franklin in the year 1952. And she observed that DNA is helical in structure. And in the year 1953, James Watson and Francis Creek observed that DNA is consists of two strands and, and then they named the structure of DNA as double helical structure. Arvind Chargaff had given some rules related to the composition of nitrogenous bases in the DNA molecule. According to Chargaff's base pairing rule, adenine always pairs with thymine and Cytosine always pairs with guanine and according to his rule the ratio of purine and pyrimidine bases is 1 is to 1 means that the amount of adenine should be equal to the amount of thymine and the amount of cytosine should be equal to the amount of guanine. So now let's see how adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine pairs with each other. Adenine pairs with thymine by two hydrogen bonds and guanine pairs with cytosine by three hydrogen bonds. Now if we consider this rectangle as nitrogenous base, this pentagon as pentose sugar and this circle as phosphate group then we can see how the chain of DNA is formed. So let's see how a DNA strand is formed. Look at the animation carefully. This is the strand which is started from 5 prime end and ends at the 3 prime end. Now the reverse of this strand will be like this. 
and this strand is started from the 3 prime end and ends at the 5 prime end. Now these two strands come together and the hydrogen bonds between the nitrogen bases are formed. As the strands are opposite to each other, then we can tell that the strands of DNA are anti-parallel to each other. And the complete structure of DNA will be like this. Now the strands will wind each other as they are in the opposite direction. One is running in the 5 prime end to 3 prime end and another one is from 3 prime end to 5 prime end. And they will form a helical structure like this. This is how a complete double helix structure is formed. In the next video, I will discuss about the features of DNA double helix. So, thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and share the video. And please subscribe my channel. Hope these videos are helping you. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.